What you're seeing here is my first attempt to try to simulate microbial life. This isn't an attempt to perfectly replicate what a microbial environment would look like but rather to represent how some organisms can eat more and grow and evolve and completely dominate and overcome all of the other ones that weren't so lucky. These organisms don't have a brain of any kind. They are simply governed by some simple rules that allow them to behave the way that they do. These red dots represent an eater cell. The only thing they do is when they come close to some food, the green dots, they will go towards it and eat it. However, they can't process their own food, so eventually they will die, causing their guts to be spewed out over the microbial battlefield. This is where our next cell, the energizer cell, comes into play. These little blue balls lack the capability of eating their own food. However, they can digest food. So the red eater cells and the blue energizer cells form a symbiotic relationship, similar to mitochondria, the powerhouse of the cell. Now only the cells with their new found friendship can survive and strive. The lonely orphans will starve. Such a tragic fate. Those who survive long enough and eat enough food will have the chance to evolve. Which brings us back to the video in the beginning. This one lucky microbe has eaten enough food to be able to create a leecher cell. These small yellow balls of death seek out and steal the food from nearby microbes, eventually killing them. These are tethered to their hosts and won't get too far away, instead pulling their host with them, all the while feeding it with delicious delicious nutrients. I hope you enjoyed my demonstration. If you have any suggestions or feedback or criticism, be sure to let me know, I'd love to read it. But for now, goodbye.